Hey everybody, this is ML Toys with an instructional video on how to mount our dual 775 motor first gear delete plates onto your ML Toys Phoenix gearboxes. Show you the inside. When these run, we call it a first gear delete system because the first gear is removed where the motor would normally mount and we're bolting directly to the second gear. Now let me start by saying this is not for daily, backyard, average, everyday use of your kid's car. It will burn out the motors, the gears, the electronics. This is a high-speed, short-burst thing done in drag racing and some road course uh, racing events where the usage is a very minimal amount of time. These guys are cranking the voltages up way high. And, of course, we cannot warranty anything used in racing just like with the real race car this is no different this is for the extreme uh performance level of a power wheel so please do not get this for backyard use and expect long-term life out of your kid's car so the way that these <coughs> work is it's a plate that bolts onto the back of your gearbox your gearbox already has two holes in the bottom you're going to bolt the plate onto the existing gearbox Remove all the gears from inside the gearbox. Clean out all the grease first. You're going to be carving the uh, gearbox up and you don't want to have grease covered with plastic shavings. It makes it a lot harder to clean out later. So clean all the grease out first. Then what you're going to need to do is carve out the holes for the motor screws and for the um, uh, center of the motor and the slide. So when you have the motor mount bolted in place, it's gonna become a template for you to be able to carve out. And it's really easy to do. We used a Dremel carving tool to do it. They make a lot of different carving bits. This is really soft plastic. It's very easy to carve up with a variety of tools. Um, just if you're using a, a, a like a Dremel, use a high RPM. You're really almost more melting than you are cutting uh, as you follow the lines along the template. To get the motors mounted in place uh, the holes the these two holes for the motors where they pivot on you can drill a four millimeter hole if that's easier for you you're also going to have to carve away some of the plastic that uh, is the bracing don't worry about that because you're putting a metal plate on the back and that's going to become the bracing for it um, you're also going to pull the first gear shaft out uh, and that's no big deal. That pulls out with this pair of pliers that's just set in place. Um, there are some people that think, well, let me just cut a giant hole for the motors instead of, you know, just cut this whole area open. You don't want to do that because the motors are going to torque. They're going to twist in here with the amount of power you guys are putting through here for racing. Uh, and it will pull the whole plate. So you want the motor uh, mounts actually be bolted into the plastic you can if you want once you're bolted together put motor mount screws through with large washers and give even more support that's going to be entirely up to you so do that carving get it all cleaned out no debris of course one little tiny piece of plastic in the gear mesh is going to mess everything up then you're going to set your two motors in place you need to use two of the same motors i think that's kind of obvious and then you're going to have to put the pinion gears on. Now these have adjustability. We can go all the way down to a 10 tooth pinion gear and up to, I believe, a 23 is the most we've gotten on here. Um, the larger the pinion, the higher the top speed, but the less torque. You're going to want to adjust that based on your track conditions uh, and your power that you're putting through it. It's a a big factor in getting the most top speed, whether it's a, a road course or a drag strip, it, it does make a total difference in the gear ratio that you're putting on. So when you set them in place, you're then going to have to get this gear mesh right. You notice in here, I don't know how well the camera can pick this up, there's a hair of play. If I be quiet, you hear that clicking when I move it back and forth. That's your goal is to get a little bit of play in there. The way you're going to do that is bolt the motors in so they're almost snug down, but you can rock the motor when you turn it. Set the pinion gear in place. You're going to need an Allen key that's got a 90 degree bend to it, like this. 
you want thread lock on all of these screws. So we get lined up with the flat spot, slide it on. We've already got a set screw on there. Need to loosen it up a little bit to get it all the way on. These are 21 tooth pinion gears. Then I'm gonna drop the gear on. And you notice we've cut a little bit of this brace just for gear clearance. So to get the gear mesh proper, I'm gonna take a regular sheet of paper, fold it in half, slide it in between the gear. You might need to roll it in. Move the motor close. And now while the motor is close, See, I've got this locked on tight enough now, so the motor is not going to move. Now I can pull that out, set the pinion gear on. Let's see if I can get that in quickly and easy, because you guys get bored watching our videos. Make sure, of course, you're hitting the flat spot on the shaft, or when you start to go, it's going to fail. Now it should be, when I put this one on, that one's got a little more play than I'd like. You can do it by hand when you get good at it, um, but a lot of people, you know, after time, see that's a good mesh right there. Um, over time you get really good at it, uh, and then you tighten the motor screw down. Do these by hand when you tighten them. Um, if you do it by... Uh, power drill you're going to sink into the plastic and that's no good uh how much you engage you see this one's fully engaged let's see if i can get that angle in there this is fully engaged if i missed a little bit it's a little set deeper on so if you set deeper on you actually are now getting less friction uh but you're getting less endurance and durability uh so that's up to you how much you want to engage for you know like everything in racing the closer to the edge you get it the faster you'll be but the more chance you'll blow up um you can use this kit with just one motor uh some racing uh arenas only use a uh, one motor first gear delete and that's fine um we've actually been told by most guys they're getting more durability out of the gear with two motors on and that makes sense because it's sharing the torque load across the gear uh and making it a little easier on it um, once you uh, get that bolted on and tight, again, everything thread locked, be sure to grease the shafts. You do not need for racing to grease the gear at all. Uh, nylon gears are kind of self-lubricating. That's not where the heat and the friction are coming from. It's coming from this gear going really fast on the shaft. So you want some lubrication on the shafts. Our uh, gearboxes also have extra grooves over a stock power wheel grease to fill with uh, over a stock power wheels gearbox to fill with grease to keep the final drive gear going smooth so you, once you're done you just get those on drop all your gears in again once everything's lubricated close up the gearbox bolt it tight and go if you have any questions please email us um, obviously mistakes at this power level and voltage level that you may be running are pretty fatal so talk to us before you uh, experiment with anything. We'll see if we can help you out. Again, this is for the extreme uh, level of racing. So make sure you understand the risks you're taking when you want to go fast.